acing. Dixon is a powerful puncher. His record is 10-1, 9 by knockout. He was in with Bobby Quarry, and he flattened him. He's got so much strength in the arm. His footwork isn't good yet. He's just learning the boxing game, but he is taking most of his opponents out with knockout punches like that. He is a very tough man. On July the 1st, he proved it to Carl Williams. Strong right hand, strong left hand, plodding in, burying the gloves. And certainly, this lad, 6'3 and a half, 254 pounds, to only 23 years of age, has a bright future. He's got to polish his tools, and you know he will. All right, now there's Dixon over in the corner. He's with Andrew Tuesdale, his handler. Very big. And his opponent tonight came here from Douglasville, Pennsylvania. His name is Mike Acey, A-C-E-Y. He's 6'2", 228 pounds. Let's go up to the ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr., and find out more about them. Well, fans, this bout coming your way features the big men of the sport, heavyweights in the ring. It's a feature bout scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Presenting the referee in charge of this bout, it is Lou Moret. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing gold trucks with white trim. He is hailing from Douglasville, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 228 pounds with a record of 12 wins, six losses, and one draw. All 12 of his wins were by way of knockout. Please welcome Mike Acey. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10-round heavyweight bout. He is attired in white trunks with blue trim. Fighting out of the great city of Los Angeles, California, he weighed in at 254 pounds. His fine record includes 10 wins, only one defeat, nine wins by way of knockout. Please welcome a fighter they call Dangerous, Dave Dixon. Here's your referee in charge now to give instructions. Lou Moret, 10 round scheduled bout. I'm giving you instructions in dressing room. You have any questions? Remember to obey my command. Shake hands and wait the bell. Good luck to both of you. All right, dangerous Dave Nixon. That's a good nickname. Six, three and a half, 254 pounds, 23 years old, 80 inch reach. He's a monster. Mike Acey, 6'2, 228. 30 years of age, 77 inch reach. If I were to look at these two guys, I don't think it's gonna last long. How does one round sound to you, Chick? A little long. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gentleman up in Irwindale. I call him Dangerous Dave. He reminds me a lot of Dangerous Dave Dixon. Uh, I tell you, with some work, boxing, schooling, a little quickness of foot, he can be very dangerous. When you step up in the heavyweight class, you know, much higher than this, uh, Dixon would have trouble now, even with that punch. He could take anybody out, but uh, he's going to take this fellow out in the first round, I do believe. AC, God bless him for having the courage to get in there with him. Uh-oh. Look out. Uh-oh. Those punches are just uh -oh. too long. I told you the first round was too long. He's tough. He gets up after being knocked down. That's uh, the, the dope that we got from Pennsylvania. He won his first 10 pro fights, AC did, by a knockout. Oh, what a miss. I wonder if the three knockdown rule is in effect. Well, in his last three losses, he was knocked down 10 times in his last three fights. <laughs> Uh, let's go to plan B. Oh, he really caught that's it. Man. They got to stop this. See ya. Right, yeah, see ya. That's all over. That makes Dave Dixon's record 11-1, and 1, 10 by knockout. And that was totally a mismatch. That's not a shot at Mike Casey. It's just two different classification of fighters. Boy, is he big and is he strong. But as I say, in order to be a qualified heavyweight, he's only 23. He'll do all these things I'm talking about. He'll get some footwork. He'll get some schooling. He'll learn how to jab and how to throw the punches better. But he's got everything going for him. Six, three and a half, 254 pounds. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to fight regularly. He's learning a shorter, more accurate punches. His stamina is improving. Here you go, Ruben. Yes, that's yes, where he threw a left hook that missed. 
and it was downhill after that for AC. <laughs> There's another left hook that set him down on the Social Security card. And he started to think, he said, well, <laughs> maybe it wasn't worthless money. <laughs> It just uh, Dave is just a big guy. I mean, it's what he's saying is over there. He said, "I need to work." <laughs> Why are you going down? <laughs> How'd you like to leave the house the morning? They say, "Where are you going?" I'm going to go down and spar in the gym with Dave Dixon. <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> All right, we'll be back at Prime Network, coast to coast. There's a lot more to come, so open a cold Budweiser and get ready with that clean, crisp, cold taste that only comes from Beechwood aging. Hey, this Bud's for you. And also for you now is Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time, one minute, 26 seconds. In round number one, the referee in charge, Lou Moret, stops the contest. The winner by way of knockout, dangerous, Dave Dixon. All right, dangerous Dave gets another one. That means he now is 11 and 1 with 10 knockouts and that means too that AC the loser has been knocked down 11 times in his last four fights yeah he uh, he gets hit a couple of times a chick all right we're going to come back with some featherweights an eight rounder John Chavez and Juan Vargas that'll be a good one Ladies and 